First of all, I'd like to thank the uh, school board for having this meeting tonight. I just have a, <clears throat> excuse me, a couple of points that I'd like to share with you. The first point is this, and please listen. If we get a bond measure put together for 2016, please, 100% unanimous backing from this school board will be needed or it will go nowhere. Any further than the last three bonds have gone. Other people have talked about this and you need to hear this. If the citizens see that this board doesn't agree 100% with a bond issue, how do you expect it to pass? It won't. So you need unity on this board. Point number two, I was present at three different focus groups at El Medina during the planning process. It was at the second meeting that the million dollar question was asked by one of our citizens. How much is this going to cost exactly was the question from this lady. After stammering for many seconds, and after looking at his assistant, who clearly didn't have the answer, the architect then said that in order to complete his vision, it would take between 100 and 190, 180, 190 million dollars. His vision, in my opinion, by the way, looked more like Atlantis than El Medina. It was beautiful, don't get me wrong but it was not a modernization by any stretch. This simple statement was just one death knell, and believe me, more than the less than 300 votes that this lost by was lost at that meeting that day. I knew it, I saw it, I heard it, I said it's done. I've assembled a few numbers for, for you guys tonight. This just did a little bit of research. I'm in the building business, I'm in the modernization business. This is from our neighborhood district, Santa Ana Unified. Seagrissom High School, ground up, land, infrastructure, by which we both have at all four schools. We have our land and infrastructure. We have to tweak the infrastructure, but we have it. Seagrissom High School, $115 million. Hector Godinas, flagship of, of Santa Ana Unified, $100 million. Valley, Santa Ana, Saddleback, Santa Ana Valley, and Century High School, all that have varying degrees of modernization, somewhere in the 40 to $50 million range at best. How a number of $180 million got out to the public of Orange, this conservative city, second only to, to uh, Bakersfield, I believe, at least in 2004 it was. <laughs> you don't give the citizens the wrong numbers. I don't know where or who gave this architect the authority to quote numbers. And now, as of today, I understand, and I might be wrong, that the maintenance department, from what I understand, has received a 5% pay raise. Uh, and I hope I'm wrong on that. I've heard that today. Thank you very much. I look forward to a 2016 bond measure that will win with the right direction, the right focus. Thank you.